Hey guys, welcome to day three of Hollow Week. Yesterday was dinner, so now today is dessert. I'm gonna be making some pumpkin and chocolate cookies. Jack o' lantern, of course. It's a layered cookie, so I'm gonna be doing a pumpkin cookie dough and then a chocolate cookie dough, and I'm gonna roll them out, stick them on top of each other, and cut out the jack o' lanterns. Oh, and as a bonus, I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own custom little cookie cutter. So let's get started. So first, before we even start making the cookies, um, I needed to make a pumpkin cookie cutter. If you already have one, then just skip this. You don't need to watch this. Although maybe you wanna watch it so you can learn how to make your own cookie cutters. I used an aluminum can, a soda can. I carefully cut it around the top and the bottom and down the side to make a long sheet of aluminum. I cut it down to be about one or two inches and then along one side, I carefully folded it up about a fourth of an inch in to make a lip. You can see here I used something to help me fold it up. You do not want to use your finger. You'll probably cut yourself. It is sharp metal, so use tools when you do this. So anyway, I folded it up and over and then smoothed it down. And now you have an edge where when the cookie cutter is done, that's the side you're going to be pressing with your hand. Basically, it's going to be the top. I sketched out a little pumpkin on a piece of paper, and from there, I could use that to sort of figure out where to bend and fold the aluminum can strip to make the pumpkin. You want to be careful about bending it too much. It can crack, which mine did a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. It happened right where I was going to be attaching the two sides anyway, which gets reinforced with tape, so it wasn't that big of a deal for me. But yeah, to stick the ends together, I just used some normal clear tape. And it worked out just fine. I have a little crack right here, and the tape covered it right up. And then you'll have yourself a little cookie cutter. For this cookie, I made a pumpkin sugar cookie dough and a chocolate sugar cookie dough. I'll put the recipe for the ones that I used down below, but you can probably just use any sugar cookie dough if you want. The technique should still work in theory. You just need them to be two different colors. Ideally, a dark one in the back so that it looks like, you know, it has the dimension of a jack-o'-lantern. If I were to make these again, I would probably cut the pumpkin sugar cookie recipe in half because uh, it made a lot of dough compared to the chocolate cookies that I made. So keep that in mind. If you're using the recipes that I'm using in this video to make your own cookies, you should probably cut it in half. Also, the pumpkin dough is a lot more like loosey-goosey than the chocolate dough. So you'll probably need to be sticking it in the fridge or maybe even the freezer while you work on it. Since you're going to be handling them a lot, they're going to get a little bit warm. Anywho, I rolled out the two doughs. A little thinner than one fourth of an inch ish like i said i only needed half of the pumpkin cookie dough so you see me here cutting it in half and balling it up and saving the rest of the dough for another time i think i might just add chocolate chips to it and cook them like chocolate chip cookies i love pumpkin chocolate chip cookies so that's probably what i'm gonna do i used flour to help keep the dough from sticking to everything but before layering them i tried brushing off as much of the flour as i could on the sides that were going to be touching. You do want the two different doughs to stick to each other. So I stuck the pumpkin cookie dough on top of the chocolate and then lightly rolled over them to make sure they stuck together. You want them to stick together but not stick together too much because you still need to cut out the faces from the pumpkin. So if you really get in there and make sure that they're stuck together, you might not be able to. I just really lightly went over. They still stuck together for the most part but I could remove the faces and they still baked up just fine. So you might want to experiment with cutting one or two out before you um, do the whole sheet. I actually like took out two golf ball sized pieces of each dough and rolled those out and tested it on my own to make cookies and found the exact amount of pressure that I needed to put to stick them together. But anyway, now finally I get to test out my cookie cutter. It works perfectly. I cut out as many pumpkins as I could, and then before moving on, I stuck this tray into the fridge so that these guys could firm up. Mm -hmm. 
With the remaining dough, I gathered it up and then I just rolled it out again, mixing the two doughs together to make a kind of marbled dough. With this, I cut out more pumpkins. I was just going to leave these guys normal. Can't really carve out anything from them because there's not layers anymore. I guess technically they are, but it's all mixed into each other, so you can't really cut out one from the other. Anyway, with this extra dough, I rolled it up and wrapped it in plastic. I intend to slice these into smaller circular cookies at a later date. So back to the chilled jack-o'-lantern cookies. It's time to carve. I worked with them three at a time to keep them nice and chilled. Using a paring knife, I carefully cut out the faces for each cookie, making sure to only cut the top pumpkin layer so that when I removed that dough, the chocolate was exposed underneath. Pretty neat and pretty time consuming. So if you're going to do this, then make sure you're ready to spend quite a bit of time. Maybe if I was smart, I would have at least made a triangle cookie cutter for the eyes at least. I could have done one for the mouth too, and then it would have made these a lot faster. But they wouldn't each have their own little personality, so... Oh well. So here are all of my jack-o'-lantern dudes, ready to be baked. I baked them in a 350 degree oven for about 12 minutes. And here they are. So cute. I know Halloween is supposed to be spooky, but all of my jack-o'-lantern things are turning out so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed today's project. It's a little time consuming, but I find it to be fun, so there's probably some of you out there that would also find it to be fun as well. I really liked being able to give each cookie its own little personality. That's just me, maybe, I don't know. I could see it being a fun activity for a bunch of people to do, maybe. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow.